As the fan favorite Final Fantasy Brave Exvius character from the global popularity poll last January, Chizuru has the backing of over 15,000 votes to empower her upcoming Neo Vision form. Now we know absolutely next to nothing about her other than the fact that her design exists, but I mean, we can guess. So generally the best thing we can look at is previous unit iterations. Usually, a new Final Fantasy Brave Exodus unit holds one or two updated qualities from their past forms, in order to maintain some kind of continuity so you know the fact that they share the same name is believable. This rings true for practically every Neo Vision unit we've seen so far, except for whatever reason the main character Rain. Regardless, Chizuru is a relatively old unit. I'm talking so old she's older than some of our initial main characters, which also means, as a unit, she's not as well developed as we might expect today. So let's see what she could do. She could paralyze, she could dispel, she could buff her stats, barrage, and hit the enemy. Believe it or not, six stars weren't a thing when she was first released, meaning she didn't have access to valuable tools like stop, partially ignoring the enemy's defense, and evasion. Wait, the last one could be useful. Her limit burst was pretty crazy, as its modifier was 4.3 times… whatever. Which was probably good and never power crap. But even in spite of all this, for a unit from a game that drew heavy inspiration from another game of chaining, Chizuru did not chain at all. Now believe it or not, this wasn't a big deal because barely anyone knew how to play this game. My most memorable strategy was casting Ultima by itself like a big boy and somehow winning, but that won't work as well today, now would it? Now if Samurai Chizuru were to take her previous kit and implement that but with stronger buffs, she'd very literally be Orin without breaks and hopefully not locked to wind. And while that would work, she'd easily be replaced with a stronger damage dealer, meaning she'd likely last for at least 3 weeks. So because the developers have likely already realized what makes a global unit sell today, I'm sure they'll add in a few more features. So far, practically every cool non-limited Clash of Worlds global original unit that was popular had at least one elemental support, killer buff support, morale scaling of some kind, a true brave shift, and a pack kit that made Japanese units look bad. So I'm sure we can expect something similar from Samurai Chizuru. But what? Now this is the issue here, because we've already run out of clues from Chizuru herself. But there are other things we can use to guess. For instance, when you make a new problem, you want to sell the solution, so let's take a quick look at our upcoming problem. From the looks of it, it'll be a beast and insect fusion that's weak to wind, earth, and dark. It likes to inflict poison, and even though you can blind it, it won't work. So first off, beast and insect. What in the shiny pants hell is that abomination? Everything I have in mind looks freaky. Still, previous Clash of Worlds bosses do end up looking fine, so I don't think it'll be a problem, but wow, thanks me, now I have nightmares! Regardless, even though Chizuru isn't the first unit that comes to my mind when I think Beast Bug Slayer, the chance of it being Chizuru anyways is high because why wait? Now, its weaknesses, wind, earth, and dark. Being weak to three elements doesn't necessarily mean the associated solution will wield all three, and it's a bit common to cater to the prior solutions to let the player base feel rewarded. Wind and earth is very obviously Wilk, and Sylvie can get in on some of that earth action too. That leaves Dark as the last option to sell to the new player, because why make competition when you can try to get them to buy both? So ultimately, a beast insect killer that uses the power of darkness? And on top of that they might have something to do with blind? Wow, that barely sounds like Shizuru at all! But I mean she was practically a blank slate which gives ample room for building atop that foundation. So I guess despite the fact that I'm having trouble associating the character with the problem, I have little choice but to deal with it if that reality comes true. However, we're not all out of clues yet. If there's one lesson I learned from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, it's that family exists. And even though you can't always trust yourself, you… well, you can't really trust family either, huh? But regardless, to family we go, and to trace their history, we'll view their past. Through the limited time story event that was sold alongside CG Lasso despite the fact that the story barely involved Lasso at all. If you haven't seen it, the long and short of it is that one way or another, everybody died. Regardless, let's start from the top, with the 5 star featured husband unit Jiraiya. He's a hybrid ninja who could deal fire and lightning damage and imbue himself with dark because he felt like it. He also had valuable abilities like throw, and less valuable abilities like status ailments, elemental resistance buffs, or evasion. He was stronger against humans, had super popular chaining families, and despite his elemental flexibility, he was still Japanese through and through. So with whatever weird hybrid we're fighting we check off dark damage, status ailments, and maybe whatever else they feel like giving her and pointing at Jiraiya like, yeah, don't worry, we memorize the characters as much as you do. Next up, the son, Hayare, whose names actually mean smooth, first result from Google, thank you. He's a fire ninja who essentially does less than Jiraiya with half his efficiency. 
There's really not much else that sets him apart aside from two different ways to not participate in the fight, so let's move right on to the next unit, the daughter, Miyuki. She's Hayate but lightning, okay, was that really how lower rarity units were designed? Wow, at this rate, we can just trace everything back to Jiraiya, huh? So let's go even further away from Chizuru with the daughter-in-law. This is Kaide, a fire damage dealer, but she had a bit of support. Okay, well, she could chain with Firm Punch. Wow, that's a thing! Alright, skip all that, we'll go straight down the family tree to Yuri, a unit who's actually very much still alive. No, she's not important. She's a hybrid ninja that dealt wind and earth? Huh. Well, she also dealt increased damage to plants and insects. So yeah, screw it, you know what? I think we'll see a Neo Vision Ninja Yuri for the next Clash of Wills and uh, Dark and Beast. Wow, that's clearly got Dark Rain written all over it. Samurai Chizuru, yeah, right. Really sad there's no Neos on Emeritus of the Frost. Actually, actually, you know what? Given their past popularity poll where they gave not winners Neo Vision forms before the actual winner, I'm predicting the next Neo Vision unit will be Dark Heil. Yeah, that's probably going to be a thing.